Hello guys, this is a video about HTTP2 and how it will overall improve your internet experience ranging from websites, mobile, social media communication and even gaming latency. Stay tuned. Let's do some history catch up on HTTP. The first documented version of HTTP was around 1991, as you can also see from the image on your screen. HTTP is essentially a protocol that was built on top of TCP, otherwise known as Transition Control Protocol, which some of you might know is the low-level protocol used to transfer information across the internet. Since then, different versions have been released, but those versions are simply extra functionality added on the existing protocol. Some things were not supported, and then later on uh, other things and optimizations took place. Since 1997, not much improvement has taken place, until the guys at Google wanted to try some new things. At that point, that is when Speedy came out at uh, 2012. Now, why would Google want to spend time actually restructuring an existing protocol that is now a global standard in the internet? As I previously told you, HTTP is built on top of TCP, which is essentially the low-level transfer. Today, one of the most preferred ways to transfer data is through HTTP. It's without a joke, almost used everywhere, in the world, from social media to device communicating together to almost every single web page you have ever been on. Now, HTTP has some best practices or workarounds or hacks. If you get to the point where you're referring to something as a hack, that basically means that you're having issues with what you're using. But why is that? This ultimately leads us to flaw number one, hole blocking. I want you to imagine that you have 10 letters to submit to the post office. Every time you submit a letter to the post office, a new connection is created to the post office and someone needs to handle your letter for shipping. Now also imagine that the post office can only handle a maximum of 6 letters per person. What will happen if you submitted all 10 letters together? Well, the answer is that the post office will take the first 6 letters you submitted and the other 4 letters will have to wait until an open spot is available to handle another letter. In this example, the post office is the server that handles requests and the letter is the request itself. This issue has been resolved in HTTP2. This is done by creating something that's called multiplexing. Essentially, it, essentially a stream uh, where a request and response will take place within that stream uh, will happen to facilitate the communication between a client and a server. As you can see on your screen, you will see an example of what happens when you're using HTTP1 on par with HTTP2. Uh, on the left you will see HTTP 1 and on the right you will see HTTP 2. As you can see, HTTP 2 is actually much faster than HTTP 1 when loading multiple requests on a single page. This brings us to the second flaw, metadata. If we refer to the previous example of mailing letters, think of the metadata as the information you add on a letter. Not the contents of the letter, but the envelope itself. Because each request, essentially on each letter you submit to the post office, uh, you have to put the same uh, the same information over and over again, like what type of the letter it is and like where is it going and stuff like that. You always have to put that again repeatedly. Therefore, this ends up being a lot of information that gets uh, traveled back and forth over thousands and thousands of requests. So essentially, uh, this is a big issue. And the solution for this is quite simple. It's HPAC. Basically, HPAC is a header compression specifically for HTTP. It might seem silly to you that, wow, this is 2019, why are we using compression? Uh, or why haven't we been using compression? But I want you to think as what we said at the start of the video. HTTP is primarily established in 1997, 1996. So you can understand that some of the features that we have today are, were not built into it and therefore HPAC will be a great contributor. Now, how will all of this improve your internet experience in general? Well, I want you to remember that if everything is built on HTTP 1, making the request, essentially sending envelopes, and now this becomes faster, even if it's 10 or 15 or 20% faster than the predecessor, then that means your overall experience will improve. That means less bandwidth will be used when social media are transferring data. That means more options might be given to you. Uh, that means that also means that if uh, games are developed uh, using HTTP 1 protocol and they switch to HTTP 2, I don't know why, why some of the games are going to be doing that, but let's assume that they do that. Then that means your internet experience will also improve, like it's going to be a quicker response time overall, and this will improve your experience with the internet. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like or even comment. 
Thank you for watching, guys. Have a good time.